Hello, this is Toby, and I'm here to present Greek mythology. Today we will discuss one of the most interesting Greek heroes, the man of twists and turns, Odysseus. Name? Odysseus. The name of the father? Laertes. Place of origin? Ithaca. Marital status? Married with one child. What is your wish? <sighs> I wish to see my wife. The main book that discusses the story of Odysseus is the Odyssey of Homer. In the Odyssey, Homer mostly talks about Odysseus' adulthood when he was stranded in the sea in the aftermath of the Trojan War. Before going to that part of Odysseus' life, it is better to talk about his origins first and how he came to be lost at sea looking for home. He was the son of Laertes and Anticlea, the king and queen of Ithaca. Ithaca was a relatively small island in the Ionian Sea, and Laertes was one of the many men who accompanied Jason in search of the Golden Fleece. For that story, you need to wait until the next show. As a young man, he tries to marry Helen of Troy but loses the competition to Menelaus, <laughs> king of Sparta. So Helen becomes Menelaus' wife. Now when Helen is kidnapped by the Trojan prince Paris, Menelaus calls on all the suitors to help him retrieve Helen. It is worth mentioning that Helen had lots of suitors. In addition to Odysseus, we also had Ajax, Protestilius, Philoctetes, and many others. So they all decided to go to Troy with Menelaus, and that is how the Trojan War started. Now, during the war, Odysseus shows his main personality trait and characteristic that distinguishes him from other heroes. He is known as master of mixing truth and lie, master of deception and scheme. In fact, he is the one who comes up with the idea of the Trojan horse. Now, what is the Trojan horse? When the Trojan War was at a deadlock, and after 10 years of war, the Greeks couldn't enter Troy and win the war, Odysseus devised the cunning plan. The plan is to build a big wooden horse and put it in front of the city, and then pretend to leave. While inside the wooden horse, the Greek warriors are hidden. The Trojans then would think it is a sign of peace offering and bring the wooden horse in. And they do. And when the wooden horse is inside, the Greeks come out of the horse and start the attack. And that is how the Trojan War is concluded. So, when we enter the castle, you pretend to be a gift. And that will trick the Trojans. Right, they think you're a gift. No, no, they will think you are the gift. Why would they think I am the gift? Because you're a wooden horse. Why would a wooden horse be a gift? Because they are dumb. Uh huh. Uh, will they look at my mouth? Why should they look at your mouth? Oh, well, like they say, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you're driving me mad. What the hell is going on out there? Odysseus, it is getting late. Well, I'm here trying to convince a bloody dumb horse. Did you just call me dumb? <laughs> Oh no, come back! I didn't mean that! Now let's turn to the aftermath of the war. The Greek warriors victoriously decide to head home. This is what the Odysseus of Homer is about. The obstacles or cunning warrior has to go through to get to his wife Penelope and his son Telemachus is the subject of the Odyssey of Homer. Sing to me of the man, muse, the man of twists and turns, driven time and again, of course. Once he had plundered the hallowed heights of Troy, many cities of men he saw and learned their minds, many pains he suffered, heartsick on the open sea, fighting to save his life and bring his comrades home. Odysseus' journey home takes about 10 years, and it is full of different adventures in which Odysseus loses all of his men and finally he is alone. Some of these adventures are more well known than the others, so let's focus our attention on those. One of these adventures is meeting the one-eyed giant 
Cyclops Polyphemus. While Odysseus and his men are on the sea, they land on the shore of a mysterious island. It was the abode of a one-eyed cannibal called Cyclops Polyphemus. He is the son of the sea god Poseidon, and so he had to be well esteemed and respected. When he meets Odysseus and his men, Odysseus asks for hospitality, and Cyclops says, okay, no worries, and then he gobbles up some of his men. <laughs> Odysseus recognizes, by no means is he a good host. So they had to escape from the land as soon as possible. Now, there are several problems Odysseus has to solve in order to escape. First, the Cyclops could see them. Second, he has closed the entrance of the cave where he and his sheep lived. So they could not escape. So Odysseus and his men trick Cyclops to sleep and then blind him. And when Cyclops wakes up in agony, he goes straight to the entrance of the cave and opens it. Odysseus' crew now have the open door, but to escape they have to lift the sheep on their back in order to go unnoticed. I want to eat you. Sure, but have some wine first. Oh, I kill for a good wine. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Here it is. Oh, it is great. What kind of wine is it? It is Chateau Montalina Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. From the long harvest of 2018, this Cabernet Sauvignon blend reveals an array of qualities bestowed by the slow and steady pecking in a vineyard. It is rounded out with 11% Merlot, 1% Cabernet, 3%... It was 16 months in French and Eastern Oak Barrel. Okay, good. He's asleep. Bring that a stick. Ooh, my eye! My eye! Yeah, yeah! Haha. <laughs> Just so you know, my name is Odysseus. Now go tell your daddy. Oh, daddy, daddy! Guess I shouldn't have done that. Yes, Odysseus escaped Cyclops, but the one-eyed giant told his father Poseidon about him. So Poseidon made Odysseus suffer even further in the sea. Another interesting adventure is when Odysseus and his men come by the sirens. The sirens were very dangerous creatures, often portrayed as women, who would enchant the nearby sailors with their music and dance, and then shipwreck them. Odysseus had heard from goddess Circe what awaits him with the sirens, but he was still curious and wanted to know what they think. So he orders all his men to wax their ears when they get close to the sirens, but he would not wax his own ear. He asked them to tie him to the mast, and not untie him no matter how much he begs them to. <laughs> Guys, come on! Let me loose! Let me loose! Let me loose! What is he saying? Can't hear you! We've got wax in our ears! Finally, Odysseus was home. But he lost all his men and everything he had on this way. He then entered his own house unnoticed. First made himself known to his son Telemachus, then to his maid and some others. He then kills all of his wife's suitors and then introduces himself to his own wife, Penelope. Some say that after this return, he felt bored once more and so decided to go on another journey. And so shall we. With the end of this Odysseus story, we will also embark on the story of another Greek hero, and that is Jason. Don't forget to subscribe to watch the next show. Until then, goodbye.